Miss Julie, who would go to country music concerts with me and just get down and have fun. Meanwhile, in the Atlanta courthouse, a suspect in the shootings, Brian Nichols, was taken before another judge. No charges were filed, but he was told he will eventually face murder charges. His hands and ankles were shackled. OPEC leaders are meeting in Iran to discuss all the worldwide pleas to cut oil prices. White House spokesman Scott McClellan was the one who voiced the U.S.'s complaints on Tuesday. High energy prices are a concern for the administration, and our view is that those high energy prices are a drag on our growing economy. McClellan says high energy prices are a big reason that Congress should pass President Bush's energy plan. That plan has been stalled up on Capitol Hill for nearly four years. This is AP Network News. Senate Democrats are threatening to slow down or stop most Senate business. Minority Leader Harry Reid says Democrats will have no choice if Republicans unilaterally change the rules to assure confirmation of President Bush's controversial court appointments. In order to break down the separation of powers and ram through their appointees to the judicial branch, President Bush and the Republican leadership want to eliminate a 200-year-old American rule saying that every member of the Senate can rise to say their piece and speak on behalf of the people who sent them here. Senate Republican leader Bill Frist says to shut down the Senate would be irresponsible and partisan. Pennsylvania is one of a number of states hard hit in recent years by home foreclosures. The state's banking secretary says he's going to lobby for new laws and regulations to stem a surge of such actions. He says he thinks the large number of foreclosures is due in part to what he calls unscrupulous lending practices. Members of the Senate are not happy with the findings of an investigation that shows U.S. banks and others were involved in helping a former dictator stash millions of dollars. Correspondent Tim McGuire explains. Another chapter in a very tawdry episode in American banking. Reaction from Michigan Senator Carl Levin, the ranking Democrat on the Senate Governmental Affairs Subcommittee, on word of involvement by U.S. banks and others in hiding millions of dollars from international prosecutors for former Chilean dictator Augusto Pinochet and his family. The U.S. and Others charged the money was stolen from Chilean government funds. Major highways and schools are closed. Drivers stranded as northern New Mexico tries to dig out from under a huge snowstorm. It dropped as much as three feet. Seventeen people are under arrest in connection with an alleged scheme to smuggle military weapons into the U.S. from the former Soviet Union. U.S. Attorney David Kelly explains how an informant played a part. In an effort to develop his bona fides with the defendants, um, and in the course of their early discussions, indicated to the defendants that he was a broker working on behalf of some terrorists that, in the course of the conversations on which they had about that, led them to believe it was al-Qaeda. Other law enforcement officials are casting doubt on the danger posed by the group. The Bush administration is ordering power plants to cut mercury pollution from smokestacks by nearly half within 15 years. But a way of letting some companies use what are in effect pollution credits provides some of the worst polluters with an out. Vermont Senator James Jeffords is not pleased. The Bush administration has just endorsed the continued poisoning of children and pregnant women with mercury. A substance so toxic that it causes birth defects and IQ losses. The president of the Chicago Historical Society will become the first director of the National Museum of African American History and Culture. The Smithsonian has named 52-year-old Lonnie Bunch to the post. The D.C. Museum was established in 2003. Camille Bohannon, AP Network News. Did I accuse to drop sharply while I was away? I'm surrounded by idiots. I'm going to say, hey, hot mama. Want to go back to my place for a game of Twister? Freedom Radio. Fire it up, boy. Hey, it's Dan the Man Sullivan here, bringing you all the best music of today, yesterday, and the day before that, including some Evanescence. Mark Chestnut, tweet featuring Missy Elliott, you too, and... Somebody who I'm used to playing a lot of. It's Tim McGraw, Live Like You Are Dying, which is some really good advice. Have fun while you're out here in rock. It doesn't have to be all bad, so go out there and make the best of it. My advice to you, and Tim McGraw's advice to you, here on Freedom Radio AF and Rock. You said I was in my early 40s With a lot of life before me and a moment came that stopped me on a dime 
I spent most of the next days looking at the x-rays talking about the options and talking about sweet time I asked him when it sank in that this might really be the real end how's it hit you when you get that kind of news man what you do and he said I went skydiving I went Rocky Mountain climbing I went 2.7 seconds on a full name blue mansion and I looked deeper and I spoke sweeter and I gave forgiveness I've been denying and he said someday I hope you get the chance Live like you were dying He said I was finally the husband And most of the time I wasn't And I became a friend A friend would like to have And all of a sudden going fishing wasn't such an imposition And I went three times that year I lost my dad Well, I, I finally read the good book And I took a good long hard look At what I'd do if I could do it all again And then I went skydiving I went Rocky Mountain climbing, I went 2.7 seconds on a full name blue mansion. And I looked deeper and I spoke sweeter and I gave forgiveness I've been denying. And he said, someday I hope you get the chance to live like you would die. Tomorrow was a gift and you got eternity Think about what you do with it What did you do with it? What did I do with it? What would I do with it? Skydiving, I went Rocky Mountain climbing, I went It's your Freedom Radio forecast. A Baghdad, a high of 70 degrees with a low of 46 and partly cloudy skies. Partly cloudy in Kirkuk as well with a high of 67 and a low of 47. Most of will getting up to 69 and dropping down to 45 with sunny skies. Sunny in Telefar and Sinjar as well with a high of 66 and a low of 43. Talil and Boz were getting up to 73 and dropping down to 51 with sunny skies. And in Balad, it's getting up to 66 and dropping down to 44 with partly cloudy skies. And this right here is Turn the Lights Off. It's Tweet featuring Missy Elliott. Oh, you've been so good to me. You stupid if, for if, this. If, 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 if this world were mine. Kwame, we're going to take them back like polka dots. Holla. Wicked. Take me 
Turn the lights off right there. Hey, and turn on your computer, open up the email, and start sending them in. We want your opinion here at Freedom Radio, so tell us what's going on. Email us at radio at bagdadforum.com and tell us what you think of the programming. It's all because of you that we're like this. So, you can also send in your request to change it up a little bit, too. Email me at afn at bagdadforum.com, or you can call me on the DSN line at 239 or the DNVT line at 530-3500. Any of those things, and I'll put out a song for you. Sure enough, this right here is going out. Oh, it's you two, here on Freedom Radio.
Bad news, Robin. The Joker's attacking the sewage plant. Holy disease skunk, Batman. You smell like you're the one who just attacked the sewage plant. What are you trying to say, Robin? That you need to take a shower. Robin, you know we don't have any water. That's no excuse. Take a baby wipe and clean your face in the sweaty places. Otherwise, you can get a rash or something like that, Batman. Okay, okay. But first, to the Batmobile. Holy cow, Patty, Batman. I'm not getting into that Batmobile with you until you clean off first. Hey, I'm heading over to the gym. You want to come? You go ahead. I'm going to watch my movie and just eat some cookies. You're going to turn into a disgusting fat body. You know, you really got to get out more. Working out's a great release. Besides, it helps keep me in shape. Prepares me for the PT test. I'll pass the test just fine. What? By the bare minimum? Why don't you come with me and I'll walk you through my routine? I'm working hard to get in the bench press club. Hey, I want to be in the bench press club. Yeah? Yeah. I can help pass out the towels. Here's some things about me you might want to know. I'm going to tell you even if you don't. I come from the country. I still been to town. And I like dogs, but just not in the house. But I might skip church one Sunday To catch the football game But I'll get twice as much next week When they pass the offering play I'm just ordinary on most days Extraordinary on my best I got a good job, but the way I spend money I never have any left Hey, I drink too much coffee And I'm always running late I was born a sinner, but my mama thinks I'm a saint. I've had my share of heartaches, bounced a couple checks, and I had a wife, but now I've got an ex. No, I won't ever be the president. Hell, I barely finished school. But I know just the things lead for insane, so my kids think I'm cool. I'm just ordinary on most days. Extraordinary on my best. I got a good job, but the way I spend money, I never have any left. I drink too much coffee, and I'm always running late. Well, I was born a sinner, but my mama thinks I'm a saint. I know there are some who live life differently. But there's a lot more people who are just like me. Ordinary on most days, extraordinary on my best. Got a good job, but the way I spend money, I never have any left. Hey, I drink too much coffee, and I'm always running late. I was born a sinner, but my mama thinks I'm a saint. Yeah, I was born a sinner, but my mama thinks I'm a saint. That's Mark Chestnut right there. Coming up, I'm going to have some Alan Jackson, Saliva, Terra Squad, and the Entertainment Report. But first, we're going to have some Evanescence for you and your random fact. Check this out. Clinophobia is the fear of beds. Try to make sure that you get plenty of sleep so when you wake up in the morning, you'll be bringing yourself to life rather than just being kind of worthless the next morning. That usually happens to me. Anyways, this is Bring Me to Life featuring the guy from 12 Stone here on Freedom Radio. <sighs>
Evanescence right there. Coming up here in 35 minutes, I'm going to have your AP Network news, some Led Zeppelin, Alan Jackson, Saliva, and the Terra Squad. But first... Hi, I'm Specialist Daniel Sullivan with a look at what's going on in your world of entertainment. The Rock and Roll Hall of Fame rocks out in a very rockin' way. Billy Joel goes to clean his act up, but first, the 19th annual South by Southwest Music Conference and Festival is showing how they do it in Texas. Big. Really, really big. As of this minute, there are 1,368 acts, creative director Brent Grulke says in the days before the kickoff. The music event will have all sorts of great artists, including the buzzworthy Kaiser Chefs and Aqualung, the oddly monikered Pig Destroyers and the Zom Zoms, Duncan Sheik, Macy Gray, and even a little bit of the alphabet, including AA out of Brooklyn to ZZZZ from Chicago. There will be some really big names there as well, including Brian Wilson and Elvis Costello, and not to mention Robert Plant from one of the greatest bands of all time, Led Zeppelin. The huge music conference should be good for both the fans and the artists, with the fans being able to go out and have five loud days of barbecue, beer, networking, and bands. As for the bands, the newer bands can go and see some of their heroes and learn if they can do it, I can do it while the more established artists can go and check out the new bands and see who the up-and-comers are. And Monday night, there was something else for the not-so-up-and-comers, the ones that have already made it. After a quarter century of pushing musical boundaries in an everlasting bid to lay claim to the title of the world's most important rock band, the Irish Quartet was introduced Monday night into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. Yes, U2 has found immortality. And the man who had the honor of introducing U2 into the Hall of Fame? Bruce Springsteen, who wasn't above noting how the young Bono single-handedly pioneered the English mullet. U2 decided to cap off their evening with a four-song set, including Until the End of the World, Pride in the Name of Love, and I still haven't found what I'm looking for, ending it all with their new one, Vertigo. Also present at the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame were the pretenders, blues guitar god Buddy Guy, R&B crooner Percy Sledge of When a Man Loves a Woman, and of course, the Philadelphia Soulsters, the OJs. The piano man is going in for a tune-up. In the wake of his hospitalization for stomach problems last month, Billy Joel has signed up for a stint in rehab to deal with a drinking problem. His rep said in a statement, Following a recent bout of severe gastrointestinal distress, Billy Joel has checked himself into an undisclosed rehabilitation facility for treatment of alcohol abuse. This is not the first time that Billy Joel has ended up in rehab. In 2002, he checked into the Silver Hill Hospital in Connecticut for treatment of a substance abuse problem just days after crashing his Mercedes on Long Island and suffering minor injuries. That car crash marked a string of auto incidents for the entertainer. In January 2003, Joel totaled his Mercedes after driving off the road and crashing into a tree on Long Island. And then last April, Joel was on his way to pick up a pizza when he lost control of his 1967 vintage Citron on a slick road and wound up parked in the home of a 94-year-old woman. And that's it for today's report. Keep listening to Freedom Radio for more news in the world of entertainment. Hey, for those of you guys that have been living under a rock for the past, oh, I don't know, half week, week, we have changed formats. This is no longer the country show. This is a little bit of everything show. Just thought you might want to know. Anyways, I got a shout out for the guys at the J Pack, Welch, uh, what was it, Welch Jelly and JR. And I'm going to go ahead and tell you guys another random fact. Most lipstick contains fish scales, which would, I guess might make your breath smell like fish. And another way to keep the fish smell away from your mouth is to make sure that you brush your teeth. So keep on doing that. Anyways, this right here is Terror Squad featuring Remy. Let's take me home here on Freedom Radio. Inside of her, uh-huh. she wanna turn me on. Okay. Breakfast in the morning, she said. Daddy, and I said, Mommy, uh-huh. you can take me home. Yeah. Let the whole group get on. I got this chick from Cali, go foul, she's wild, she's gangster, she knows it, she's got it like that. We was driving on. 
Crenshaw, cruising for food, she pulled up beside me, set off in the lap. And I said, damn girl, you acting like you don't know, never seen me before. Episode of Cribs on MTV, video, what you think TS stand for? She said, yeah, that too, and the diamonds is no facade. Used to be a broke from the BX, now I'm rich, got the world screaming terror squad. Think about it now. Everywhere we go, every other city we told, they never say no. Seems like every other night I got a different chick begging me. She wanna take me home, uh -huh. lay me up inside her home. Uh -huh. She wanna turn me on, okay. breakfast in the morning. She said, Then I said, Mommy, you can take me home. You can let the whole crew get on. I, I, I was in love in the club, right? Had some Remy in my club, right? And that's when I peeped him. He was looking so fresh and so clean up. He was fitted down his sneakers. I really do mean this. I ain't never seen this. There was some people standing in between. This is a go over there so I can meet him. I had him pent up in the cut near the speakers. Girl, I know she's heated, but right now I'm what he needed. If he crush me, then trust me, it's a guarantee that he's not leaving. Told me he heard of me, but don't know me. And I like them for some reason. Invited him to my place, said, So I ain't got a man, so it ain't cheating. Think about it now, I don't gotta stress. I don't ever really gotta press. They always say yes. It seems like every other night I got a different begging me. She wanna take me home, uh -huh. lay me up uh -huh. inside her home. Uh -huh. hold on, hold on. She wanna uh -huh. turn me yeah, 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 on, yeah, yeah, yeah. and she said, yeah. 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 Mommy, you can take me home. You let the whole crew get on. Yeah, you a big girl, eat it up. Now tell your friend to hold your hand while you eating up. A little hot, little drunk, little dicked up. We in the truck, I figured don't find the speakers bump. I'm steady speeding up, swerving the bumps. I'm trying to f but I ain't trying to f the 23s the up. So I ease up, drunk and focused, trying to watch the road until the back seat's heating up. And so I'm keeping them, wish you could see them. I know you hear them breathing like they've been possessed by demons. I know you heed it, wish you was here, but gotta go now. Have a good evening, hang up the phone now, have a good weekend. Shorty sure just cold, you both in front seat, and I think she about to go for season. I know the horn ain't beat for no reason. Me in the morning acting indecent She's so horny Seems like every other night I get a group of chicks begging me She wanna take me home uh -huh. Lay me up inside her home uh -huh. She wanna turn me on okay. Breakfast in the morning She said Then I said Mommy you can take me home You can let the whole crew get on she wanna take me home, uh -huh. lay me up inside her home. Uh -huh. She wanna turn me on, okay. breakfast in the morning. She said, <laughs> Then I said, Mommy, you can take me home. You let the whole crew get on. Uh, you can take him home, but you can take me to the latrine because I make sure to use the bathroom whenever possible because I don't want to get a urinary tract infection because it'll make it burn when you pee. Which leads me to my next random fact of the day. Cat urine glows under a black light. Bet you didn't know that. And if you did, you have some really weird hobbies. Anyways, I'm going to go ahead and play some saliva. Coming up, i got some Alan Jackson, so stick around for that here on Freedom Radio. Walking on the reeds is out so hard for me to find my way home. Yeah. Can't try to reason with the pain and 
Freedom Radio on the American Forces Network, Iraq. Alan Jackson right there. And hey, if you have a toothache, it could be more serious than you think. So make sure that you go and see your dentist while out here in Iraq if you have any problems with your teeth whatsoever because otherwise you could end up looking like a really old boxer, no teeth, or a hockey player or something like that. Anyways, that leads me to my next random fact. Not to scare you away from the dentist or anything, but the electric chair was actually invented by a dentist. Bet you didn't know that. Coming up, I got... A double shot of Led Zeppelin for you guys with some 10 years after, so stick around here at Freedom Radio, AF and a Rock. I'm Bill. And I'm Ted. And we're the Wild Stallions. 
We're here today to talk to you dudes about shoplifting. Yeah, shoplifting is totally bogus, dude. That includes stealing, passing bogus checks, using counterfeit money, and credit card fraud as well, my friends. Yeah, that's totally not gnarly, man. All service members caught shoplifting will face UCMJ action, brah. Getting caught using counterfeit money means an instant felony. And if you're caught, APHIS will prosecute you to the max.